Hi everyone, welcome back. And today we are expecting an exciting delivery. We are getting a freeze dryer delivered from Harvest Right. And we ordered it two weeks ago. They said it would be one to two weeks before it was to be delivered. And it, exa it is exactly two weeks. So very excited about that. As soon as it arrives, we will do the unboxing and show you what all there is to that. And we have prepared a place in our garage to put it. So we've built a counter in here and um, just stay tuned. We'll be back as soon as it arrives. Filter. It does look like a bread of pitcher. The sealer. Oxygen absorbers. Guide to freeze drying. Bags, the Mylar bags. Three of the Harvest Strike trays for the medium. Oh, actually, there's four trays for the medium. Parts and accessories. Looks like everything's here. And then the pump is in there also. Whatsoever. All right, looks like it's all set up. Switch it on, and then after one minute, check the oil. We've got the water or the drain um, all connected. And when we ordered the freeze dryer, we weren't really sure um, where we were going to put it. We knew that we didn't want it to be in the house. And other YouTubers suggested maybe a basement or the garage. And so we had decided that we're gonna put the freeze dryer in the garage. But in order to do that, we needed to build a countertop um, and just kind of make a space for it. So then that brought up different questions that we had that we were not able to find the answers to. Like, could we put the pump on the floor? Um, 
ideally that's what we would have preferred to do but once the freeze dryer arrived the cord was short and so we needed to keep the pump up near the freeze dryer and it had to be on the right hand side of the freeze dryer so that was something that we discovered once the pump had arrived or once the free that is something that we discovered once the freeze dryer had arrived the other question we had was, did we need to leave space around the freeze dryer for ventilation? There was, we couldn't find any answers to that. And so when the freeze dryer arrived, it was kind of just a given. The pump was gonna be on the right side and the drain hose was gonna be on the left side and that was the only place it could go. So it just automatically then gave us some air space around the freeze dryer. And the hose that arrived with the freeze dryer was just a certain length and, and it was kind of bent and wasn't really gonna absolutely stay in the drain bucket. And so what we did, I can show you here, is we put a rigid pipe going from the top of the counter down so the hose just fit right into the bucket and there is not any question now whether the hose is going to come out of the bucket or not. And just kind of an aside, we had room under the counter for our propane cook stove but then also in here we have a just a small chest freezer and we went ahead and put it on wheels also and so then to get into it can just pull it out open it get into it and then roll it back so i thought that was kind of a um a good way of storing our chest freezer and having it be useful well, thank you for taking this freeze dryer tour with us. And I hope that it answered some questions that you may have before your freeze dryer arrives as well. And I look forward to spending more time with you as we go through our freeze drying adventures. Thank you so much.